The wrong woman is named and shamed as the other woman, causing consternation at Gabby's Wisteria Lane fashion show today at 5 to 5. But now Chris is furious in Shortland Street. I'm in pain, hun. And I know you've got some money. What? All I need you to do is meet up with a friend of mine. He knows what I need. You want me to buy drugs for you? Please, hun. It's not like I'll use the stuff all the time. Only when the pain's bad so I can carry on physical rehab. I'm, I'm making real progress. And my mate, he's, he's only a bus ride away. It's his address. I've told him you're coming. No! I won't do it! Come on, please, sweetheart. I'll pay it all I back. won't score for you, Dad. You shouldn't ask me. Well, who else is there? Chris! He wants me to suffer. No, he doesn't. So do you. Oh, you're in this with him. You are killing me. Don't say He's that. He's turned you against me. He hasn't. You lied. Because you don't love me. If you did, you could never stand by him. What's going on? Nothing. Hey, go easy, muscles. I quite like those. Fine, you do them then. Hey, 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 what are you so mad about? I'm not. I'm exhausted, so don't start on me, okay? I'm not starting anything, honey. I'm worried about you. Don't be. Um, you've been on knife edge for weeks. Now, if it's this baby issue that's well, doing so it's this, it's an issue now. Well, isn't it? I can't do this, TK. I can't have another fight with you. I, I don't want to fight. I want to talk to you. There's nothing to say. It was with Craig. Ah. Uh, Sarah, just. Just leave it, all right? I need to lie down. Okay, first item, welcome back, Tony. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I just hope you boys know what you're taking on. Yes, a highly trained, highly experienced ex-nurse manager. With baggage. You can't get a job here without it, Tony. <laughs> you should hear what they say about him. <laughs> uh, Keller mentioned you've been working at rest homes. In ours, mostly. Right, so you're probably not aware of the recent changes in the PCC. I've yet. done some homework, I think I'm up to speed. Excellent. <laughs> To business, then. Hmm. Uh, there's been a recall on Prioxin. It's causing liver damage. You'll need to log on to MedTech, find which patients are on the drug, and get them in here. Uh, Prioxin, that's... Osteoarthritis. And uh, could you also chase up Mr King, initials AG? Uh, he's on warfarin, but we've got no INR results on file. He needs an urgent riff about blood tests. Urgent, OK. Shortland Street Primary Care. Also, yes. call Mrs. Drake, initials JD. Uh -huh. I have her bloods back, but I need to see her this morning, if possible. Now, the rest is priority, but not urgent, so any time today. Yeah, look, if I can stop you there, this is something best dealt with by our practice nurse. I'll hand her over. OK, hang on. Young mum wants to know about the triple jab. And, as soon as you can, please. OK. Now, slave boy, you've got the first patient. I'm going to get some coffee. OK. Tony Warner, how can I help? Yeah, she wouldn't come out of her room last night. I knew something was wrong. I have no idea what Guy said to her. I'll find out. Thanks for the heads up. Excuse me, do you have a sore foot? Oh, it's a darned corn. I can't get rid of it. May I recommend something? Go for it. You need unripened papaya, not hard to find at the fruit shops. Rub the pulp onto the corn and let it dry and do this regularly. Grandma's recipe, is it? <laughs> Something like that. Well, thank you. I'll let you know how I get on. Uh, Ayurvedic medicine, am I right? You are? Yeah, fascinating stuff. I thought you'd call it rubbish. Oh, no way. My wife might, though. <laughs> Which is why I haven't bothered mentioning it to her. Yes, Justine has a closed mind, and she thinks we should all think like her. But we don't. Look at Yvonne. I find many people prefer natural remedies. And where appropriate, I like to use them. Oh, absolutely. Why prescribe drugs when you don't have to? You know, I've been thinking about opening up a holistic clinic and attaching it to the PCC. Are you serious? Yes, it's been on my agenda for quite some time. 
This is so unexpected, Callum. I felt sure you'd call me a quack. Oh, no way. You have a lot to offer. Just remember that when people try to shut you down. Thank you, I will. Okay. Ah, oh, great. Thank you. Kip, I need you. Four. Cellulitis, lower leave. Billy Checker. Ah, I have an aunt, Millie. Have you? Yeah, from Mississippi. She loves lollies but hates candy. <laughs> hey. Big fan of soccer, can't stand rugby. What are you talking about? My Aunt Millie. She loves pepper, but loathes salt. So, what? I think it's a game, Alice. Yeah, you have to work out why my Aunt Millie loves some things, but hates others, like she what loves... What is this play school? <clears throat> Sarah, are you OK? Uh, I'm trying to work. Is there a problem with that? Sorry, I'm on a short fuse lately. That's okay. No, it's not okay. I still feel terrible about wrecking lunch for everybody. Oh, come yesterday. on. You didn't wreck anything. Just need some time to relax properly, that's all. It didn't happen yesterday. For me either. Can I have another day off? It's Melissa Small. She's my patient. Sarah, I'll be in my exam if you want to talk later. Oh, Millie likes Melissa. Does she like Sarah? Ooh, not one bit. <laughs> She hates me too. And you, Alice. Hey, you. Good to see you, Dad. You avoiding it? No. Scotty told me about yesterday. Well, he said that guy got angry and you were upset and ran out of the room. What happened? I want to help you. I want to help Dad. I hate it when he's mad at me. I know. Did he, um, ask you to do something for him? And you said no. Did he ask you to get drugs Tuesday, the money I gave you for school things? Give us a minute, Scotty. Tuesday, sweetheart. Don't. And don't you act like butter wouldn't melt. What you did yesterday was despicable the pain. Don't make excuses! You know what Tuesday's been through. She was at your side the whole time you were in a coma, not knowing whether you'd live or die. And this is how you repay her. I'm sorry, baby. It's okay. No, it's not okay. He tried to bully you into getting drugs for him. Yeah, and I hate myself for it, okay? I'm a loser. I'm a waste of space. Yeah, you're not kidding. No, Dad, you're just sick. He wanted to send you to a drug house Tuesday, to criminals. No, he wouldn't do that. It was a mate of his. No, no that, that's a lie. Tell her. She's 15. Anything could have happened. You knew that, and you didn't care. Dad? I'm sorry. I just didn't think that I needed a hit at any cost. You don't deserve that girl. I would never do anything to hurt her. I love her! You don't know the meaning of the word. And thanks to landing you for a father, neither does Tuesday. She has no idea 